This is a Willits Point Shea Stadium bound 7 express train. The next and last stop is Willits Point Shea Stadium. Now, I mentioned the protection of Pete Alonzo. You know, speaking of Pete, what do you do with him this offseason? Because if you're going to sign him, the best time to sign him, I think, is going to be now during this offseason. We know he's going to, every player does the thing where I don't want to sign after the season begins. No, no games, uh, no, no team's going to sign their player uh, in season. It just doesn't happen anymore. Or, you know, we not to, not to some of the best players, but is it sign, you know, trade, uh, or just let it play out and let him go to free agency? Because I worry that we will see an Aaron Judge thing where he'll have a great year because we know that Pete can have another great year and uh, he'll, his price rises too high. Yeah, I think we're at a point where because he has Boris now, I feel like it's going to end up being something that is played out the same way Judge was. And I think you've reached this far. I, I don't think he's going to settle without trying to go out there and see what you can pull in from others in terms of offers. So the way this offseason is going to go, I think you're going to see it where, look, we're going to hear rumors. That's what always happens, whether it's true or just media driven, which was a majority of this past season was. It was all media driven nonsense from people that I refuse to say their name. But, you know, when it comes down to it, I think that he's going to play out the season. They'll take they'll take calls. Any any smart general manager or player of baseball ops, they take uh, president of baseball ops. They take phone calls. You listen to what someone's going to offer. Do I think he's going to get dealt? I don't. I think he's going to play the season, and I think eventually he hits free agency. I think they're going to eventually re-sign him, regardless of what Scott Boris says when it comes to uh, not caring about what others are doing or how other agents signed their, you know, got their client signed as first baseman. It doesn't apply to Pete. I'd, I'd pump the brakes on that because I do, I do think a first base market is established, uh, regardless of how many home runs Pete's hit, uh, Pete hits. I still think that there is a limit as to what amount he's going to get but i honestly feel that he's going to play out the season and then they'll attack it the same way they did with nimmo and diaz and then they'll have conversation there'll be some back and forth i think ultimately going into the offseason next year he's going to end up signing but as for now they might listen to some calls um but i don't think he's going to i don't think he's going to get dealt um and i feel like he's going to play out the season and you know if he plays out the season and has an Aaron Judge-esque year, that also means that our Mets are having a pretty damn good year as well. So we'll see how they go about building around him for this season and then attacking things from there. But if there's one thing we can feel confident about, it's the fact that we have money and we're able to um, you know, really attack players, unlike previous years where you know people were always afraid that when we had a good player, we weren't going to be able to retain them because we didn't have the money. That's never the case anymore. So no matter what, the Mets are always going to be a player. And I think that eventually Pete Alonso will sign a dotted line with the Mets. I just think it's going to take a little bit more time. Yeah. The, uh, the Mets are always now going to be a player when, when it comes to everybody. So I'm not surprised when, when they say, Oh, the Mets are in on this guy. Oh, we know this. They got the money to do 